keep asking this week after week. How frustrating is it to continue to go through this stuff? Very. Um, it's not good enough. Um, I'm not playing good enough as a team. Uh, definitely not playing good enough on offense. Um, all of us individually are not good enough to win. Um, I think it showed these last two weeks. Um, just ain't good enough. And, you know, um, when you play like that, that's the result you're going to get. Um, all I can just say is try to improve. I'm not going to try to do that. I'm going to keep working, doing whatever I can to help us win in, in any possible way. Um, I'm going to have to, I don't know, evaluate a little more harder, um, run harder, break more tackles. Um, but I'm trying to figure it out the best way I can to um, be a better player for this team you, and you help look, us to win. You look at these last 19 games, I think you guys were what, like 3 and 16. It's kind of hit rock bottom. What is it about Mike Rabel that you feel makes him need to remain your, your head coach? Um, uh, I mean, we feel like a lot of us you know, on the team feel like we're just not playing great as a team. Um, a lot of self-inflicted wounds on you know, drives and things that we know that, you know, we can be better at and um, executing and things like that. Um, you know, I, as far as, you know, coach being the head coach, I feel like, you know, um, you know I feel like he's done a great job. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I had the higher up decisions on anything else if, you, if you're trying to ask, but I feel like, you know, we build a culture here, um, establish that culture. But right now, we're just not playing to that standard. And, um, you know, it's, it's costing us. And, but, you know, you still got to go to work, still got seven games left, and do the best you can from, from here on out. I mean, that's all I can really say. Where's that disconnect, Derek, happened maybe yeah. between a good week of practice and then not executing in a game? Because we talked to Will, and he said yeah. like you guys felt like you've been up to speed in the week of work and then just not put it together. Yeah, I mean, if we felt good all week. felt like we had a good week of preparation. And then you come out here and just don't execute. Um, you know, we're just not playing like a good fo football team right now. And, I mean, that's just been a repetitive thing, you know, this, this whole season. And if you're inconsistent in this league, it's going to show. So, um, you know, uh, I think, you know, you just learn from, from this game um, and try to be as positive as possible when it's hard to be. Um, and then, like I said, there's seven games left. Um, see how those turn out. Um, but, um, you know, just trying to be better. Um, week after week, and then letting those good weeks of practice translate in the game, you know, anyway, any, any way we can. Can you're you the point anything that your the offense maybe is doing well that you can say like, well, <laughs> well, there's something there that we can we can look at yeah. or build on, or is it hard to find those things? Out? No, I mean, I feel like we um, if we can just sustain drives and you know end with points, get in the end zone, not have. Uh, um, self-inflicted stuff or not have uh, mishaps, you know, as far as execution. I feel like, well, I think it's that second drive. Um, we just had a bad snap and then that's, that, that stopped the drive. Um, I, feel like, I feel like we can we can execute, we just got to stop killing ourselves whenever we get those opportunities and get things going. But those are things you, you're aspiring to do, not things you're doing. So Yeah, I mean, I, I, feel like, I, feel like, I feel like we can move the ball well. I um, feel like we need to be better in the run game. I could be better um, personally. I'm holding myself accountable. Um, but I just think that, you know, um, once we get drives going, um, we just got to sustain them and not have uh, so many uh, self inflicted stuff that stops drives, that go three and out, and then that kills momentum. I feel like momentum is huge in the NFL. Once the team got it and, you know, they are moving the ball and making plays, it's hard to, you know, make that, make that shift. But I feel like once we get in drives, we just got to. Stay locked in and you know put put it all together. Do you feel like in a kind of a way you have to learn how to be on a team like this? I know at Alabama you weren't losing very much. The Titans you haven't lost very much. Is it is it a completely new experience for you, kind of orienting to being like this right now? Yeah, I mean nobody's comfortable or 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 it's never fun losing. Um, but I just think it's how you respond to it. I'm gonna be as positive as I can. Keep working. Um, you know. Um, I'm not gonna make no excuses for myself. I know other guys that make no excuses. We just haven't been been good enough. But all I can tell you is just keep working. I know I'm gonna keep working. Um, seven games left, and I'm gonna do the best I can to help us win and uh, uh, you know give us give give us a chance in any way possible. When you're in the middle of a game like this, do you say anything to the guys on the sideline, or do you just kind of let the feelings lie? Just like, how do you handle? 
kind of struggle in a game like this? Yeah, I was, you know, just show, you know, you just try to remain positive as possible and you know, wait for the opportunity to get out there to try to put a, put a drive together. Um, I think guys are just wanting to, you know, wanting it to finally, you know, go the way we go go the way we want it to, and then it doesn't, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, you just gotta stay positive and lead on this team. Um, try to rile these guys up, and then you know, just just keep working. Does this feel like rock bottom? Feel you? Does this feel like rock bottom? I don't know what rock bottom feel like, but the ooh, yeah, man, it's 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 tough. It's it's definitely tough. Um, but um, we just same haven't been good enough. I ain't making no excuse. Um, I haven't. We haven't been good enough as a team, and um, and that's what happened in this league. It's a grown man league, so it, it ain't it ain't been good enough. Pocket. Uh, we knew that we knew he was gonna run a little bit, but I don't know, man. I don't know what it is right now. We gotta figure it out. You guys have worked hard, obviously, to figure it out. Is it frustrating? Does it, does it feel like it's closer or farther away? The solution? I don't know. It, it's, yeah, I'm right. It's frustrating. It's frustrating. Um, losing is frustrating. The same thing is frustrating. Um, I mean, we got to. I mean, I'm tired of saying, or we tired of saying. I'm tired of hearing it. We got to figure it out. We didn't do enough. Like, when are we going to do enough to win? Um, like this all second division game. I, I had a lot of confidence. Uh, like I said, coming into this game, um, we, like I said, we only had played one division game. We still had division was still, and I think it's still in front of us at what three and seven. And I don't know, man. We. I don't want. I want to say we got figured out, but I'm tired of saying we got figured out. It's time to actually go out there and win a game, and I don't know what we need to happen. Um, like I said, defense. I mean, we we on the field. We on the field. Man, I don't know. Um, we <laughs> tired of saying the same thing, man. I I, I don't know. What, what are you doing even small things, Jeff? That you guys are doing well, like to say, well, at least we're doing, making progress at this, and that's a small thing we can build on, or is it hard to even find those things? It's hard to find them. I mean, because when we do get, we may get off the field, or, I mean, like I said, I would say, take that back, I would say when they got in the red zone, we made them kick field goals a couple of times. I would say that that's probably what's one of the plus. Um, I think twice of them was touchdown uh, in the red zone uh, with the quarterback scramble and what, Twice, I mean, three times. I think quarterback design run. He scrambled for a touchdown, and then the, the one he threw it really in the back of the end zone. So, but I think that was that was trending in the right direction uh, in the first half. In the second half, I think the red zone defense was kind of sus, um, suspect. But I don't know, man. Like I said, I'm just tired of saying we got to figure it out. It's tough, you know. Every week is something different. Uh, but like I said, it's kind of consistent as to like the theme of the things that lead us to losing or winning the game. Uh, so like, as you feel like you're making that step, and then we fucking like take a step. Like, just finding the consistency. You know, I think that's the biggest thing. Like in this league, you got to be consistent. You got to be consistently doing good things in order to win. And obviously, we just haven't been consistent enough because you know, our record will show that. You guys forced a punt on the first drive. They then scored on six of the next seven drives. What happened? What did they do? Um, they did a good job of mixing up some of, some of their runs. You know, they, they had a lot of misdirection stuff and uh, play, some of the play action shots that came off of it, uh, extending the plays on third down, you know, getting down the field. And uh, we, we stopped them a couple times in the red zone, but still giving up points. Uh, so they, they just did a good job of moving the chains uh, and getting themselves into the positions to try to score. And, they either made a field goal or they scored a touchdown, so that was kind of... You and Mike, or you and Becca and Mike's mantra are not that it's in this week. Watch out! I think uh, urgency and panic can look very similar. And the only thing that you know dictates the difference between the two is really your intent and uh, your mindset. Because obviously, urgency is like moving with a purpose to get something done for what you want. Where panic is like you just don't know what the hell's going on. You just run around like a chicken with your head cut off. So uh, I think that you can't really ever panic. You know, you just gotta can pick up the urgency and like pick up the details, pick up the things that you want because if you don't pick up that sense of urgency, obviously like the time will pass you by. And uh, like you said, it's getting 
later and later to try to accomplish the things you want. And in the day, like I've said before, you know, nobody really knows what's going to happen in the future. We don't know what's going to happen next week. You can't even tell me what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't even know what you're going to eat for Thanksgiving. So I'm assuming turkey, but, <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, you know, anything can happen. And we just got to control what's in our, what's in our uh, power. And, you know, right now it's just showing up every day.